What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in this video I'm gonna clean up my mailbox on my transmog only tune but then we're also gonna log over to uh, the tune where I sell gray and white items because I frequently get the answer or the question not the answer but the question uh, what is the best way to make a gold in dragonflight and I honestly think that you should scrap the idea of doing Dragonflight current content right now, and that collectibles is the way of making gold. Like old content uh, in every expansion, collectibles. It's one of those things where it's going to take you uh, longer to sell it by far, right? But once it does eventually sell, the return on your time invested is going to be way better than uh, if you were to do a Dragonflight farm. But it doesn't sell instantly. And one of ways uh, in order to how you can do that is like what I'm going to show you guys on this tune right now. Where I've basically just done everything that's in uh, the Zero of the 10 million gold guide. Just followed the spreadsheets on how to get started with crafted transmog. So I have all of that set up. So if you guys have the book, then uh, just make sure to go over to the crafted transmog section and take a look at it. And if you don't have it, then make sure you use the discount code Dragonflight and you'll get it for 50% off. And a big thank you. I know that a lot of you guys are really enjoying the gold guide and that you guys are enjoying the updates done to the gold guide. So I appreciate that. And I can guarantee you that if you like the gold guide, you're definitely going to like the VIP Discord. It's pretty much like a Patreon where everything, uh, every YouTube video that I upload uh, goes on the Discord before it gets uploaded to YouTube. So you get a, a head start on people. But it also have a bunch of other exclusive content on the Discord. Like there's spreadsheets uh, for gold making. There's investment tips. Uh, there's even like a quick guide to getting started with Craft the Transmog. That's like very basic if you don't have anything what should be the first step you should do and why right and then there's obviously going to be more cool stuff coming so you'll find that link down below with the gold guide in the description but uh this week as you guys can probably hear i'm still sick i went from having covid to getting like uh i'm not even going to try to pronounce it in english but it's pretty much like an infection in the airways so i've been really sick and um I've also therefore slacked on gold making, like I haven't reposted the auctions uh, when I should have and so on. But we're still going to see how much gold I made. Only 217 sales this week, not good. And for <coughs> First off, I can see that I sold uh, some wave crash and a bunch of other items uh, that comes from the Nasiatar gold farm. And I mention that often in these cleanup videos because it, it's just such a great farm. I sold an icy scale chest as well that's crafted. A grizzly chest that's a bad price. Crafted gladiator items always sells. Together with bags, don't sleep on bags. Bags are really, really good. Uh, is there anything else worth mentioning? Black Belt of Knowledge, like th these prices are extremely low because my realm is horrible. Brain Splinter, only 9.5k gold. 7k for a, an epic cruel blade. Now you can get from, it's a world drop, you can get it from a lot of places. SM, for instance, really bad price. So that's 134,000 gold. Luckily, we have more auctions and hopefully that's going to save us at least a tiny bit. Um, because last week's clean out wasn't that bad. And I actually didn't clean out. I missed the 92,000 gold in that clean out. I saw that after recording the video. But I just didn't pay attention to that while recording the video. So we're going to add that on top of it. And uh, now let's see. 173,000 gold on this next clean out. Is there anything cool that we want to mention? This is always nice. When you see someone buy an entire set. This spiked chain set. It's actually a farm set. They all have great market values, like way above what I sold them for. But it's really badass when somebody just wants to buy a full set. Now, this is farmed in Stone Talon Mountains. That's the most efficient way to farm it, at least. Uh, Reef Walker set. Once again, some guy just buying a, a bunch of um, items from the set. He probably bought more, but I didn't have the cheapest ones available uh, by the time when he wanted to buy the set. That's also from Nasiatar. Then I sold Spike Chain again, 21k. That's really good. Glowing Brightwood Staff is an epic staff from Classic. World Drop. And uh, 
that's pretty much it worth mentioning at least so 173,000 gold that means we're at least at over uh 300,000 gold but uh there's not that many auctions left so i don't think it's gonna be a good clean out this week which i kind of expected there's always a correlation on uh time spent posting or undercut scanning and how much gold you'll make the more gold you spend on posting your auctions the more gold you make uh let's see that's cool. These three items, Huge Stone Club, Blood Scalp Staff, and Korg Bat, are uh, all legacy items. What I mean by legacy items is items that were removed from the game, but then brought back into the game. And there's a giant list of those items. Uh, I actually just recently uploaded a spreadsheet on the, uh, the VIP Discord that has like all of the legacy items in the game. And there's also like 50 items that I haven't been able to confirm if they can still drop in the game. That, so that's going to be really cool to check out. Um, now, this week's clean out. So in one week, selling my transmog, uh, mostly uh, mostly crafted, ended up with 382,000 gold in gray, blue, and epic items. It's not bad. I mean, it, it's more than a WoW token in a week. So <coughs> uh, we're doing like almost no work at all but i usually make like 500 to 700 thousand gold on an okay week but i've been slacking due to dragonfly because since dragonfly came out i've only done dragonfly farms and i'm just now starting to get back into the old collectibles so i'm missing a lot of the big ticket items that are really hard to get now only sold 156 gray and white items which makes sense because I'm not farming or buying from the, the vendor specifically anymore. So I have way less auctions. Uh, now, I, I used to sell... Well, I started by selling like 1,200 uh, items in one week and then like 500 items the following week. But now I'm just selling off the items. And whenever I'm farming, I always look at the items to see if they're worth sending to my tune. And usually, it's a good item. They just don't have a good enough price for me to post it. But I sold some... Uh, I've sold a bunch of Shadowlands legendary base items because they sell well. But I used to sell them on my crafters, right? So on my blacksmithing tune, I would just post them on my blacksmithing tune. I wouldn't send them to the gray, gray and white uh, tune. But I figured I might as well do that because I do that with my other crafted gray and white items, right? So sold a couple of those... A Shadow Ghast items, uh, Grimvale's robe, as well as tailoring um, Shadowlands Lego. A Grizzly Bracers, 18k, that's a good one. And I sold, there we go, I sold my last soggy Moarg eye patch for 22k. Then I also sold Grizzly Gloves for 9.5. So that was good, 85,000 gold in the first 100 auctions. Not bad at all, because right now we're looking at way above uh, 400,000 gold. Probably are going to reach, uh, well, at least close to 500k thanks to gray and white mugs. But I don't think I have anything else that's considered good value. The Soggy Moarg, though, I sold five of those for the average price of 40,000 gold. So that one hour farm made me um, 200,000 gold. That's why I think that the best way to make golden dragonfly is to spend your time on collectibles instead. Grizzly Cape sold for 7.6k. Um, so gray and white transmog clean out this week wasn't bad, but as I said, I could have made way more gold than this if I focused on it. I haven't bought a single vendor white item in ages, and ninety five thousand gold clean out on gray and white items this week. So overall, not a bad of like too bad of a week, and hopefully the next week is going to be better. Uh, if I can just make sure to always keep my mugs uh, reposted so they're actually actively up on the auction house. With that being said, though, that's pretty much it for today's video. So don't forget to check out the VIP Discord. Really do appreciate the massive support in that lately. A lot of people have joined in. And of course, on the 0 to 10 million gold guide. With that being said, though, I'll see you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.